Hey everybody, it's Rob Chavez with Resting Days coming at you from Rowan Tree here in Herndon and I'm talking to Amy and Kate. We're going to learn a little bit about their business and understand like why co-working and how did you guys get started, right? I love telling the story of business owners and entrepreneurs and I want to know your story. You were referred to us by more than one person, right? And so it's kind of cool when you get more than one person saying, hey, you have to go check out their space and you have to like understand what they're doing. So. Tell me a little bit, um, this is a new business for you guys, you just started at the beginning of this year, right? Yeah. Yep. When was the official launch? January 15th. January 15th, wow. Okay. So how did the concept come about? So this is a really fun story, so mm -hmm. I think you'll like it. So Amy and I have been best friends for 16 years now, and we also happen to have the same exact birthday. Oh so, wow, okay. So this idea was born or planted, shall we say, um, over our birthday two years ago with beer and karaoke. Okay. Yes. The best of ideas the best are born. Of, yes. yeah. of course, beer and karaoke. We just talked about wouldn't it be nice to have a place where women could get away and be around their friends and do all those things that we tend to do in the back burner. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, then we had another beer and kind of forgot about it. And then fast forward to a couple weeks after that, Amy actually came over to my house because we were both working at home at the time in our jobs and we hadn't seen each other and Amy said, well, why don't I come over and we'll just work together from your house. Mm -hmm. So we actually were co-working without even realizing mm -hmm. we were doing what we were going to create. And so we took a walk during lunch and just kind of came back to that conversation. I think I was, I said something like, gosh, you know that idea we came up with? Like, I really want to see see what that is. Like maybe that is something we could try. And Amy said, "Me too." Mm -hmm. So we're like, "Well, let's go tell our husbands." And so, <laughs> and then it and it you know it, it evolved. Yeah. So, um, who drafted the business plan? How did you guys work out all the logistics? Or was there no business plan? You're like, we're oh, just going to oh, do it. Oh, there was a business plan. Okay. We started. Um, we knew to start a physical space, we were going to need some capital to do that. And mm -hmm. so we initially started with the business plan, um, did a lot of research around this niche co-working industry. There mm -hmm. are women-focused co-working spaces mm -hmm. that are all across the country, but they're mainly in cities. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to bring the same model out into the suburbs because we're just as passionate and driven mm -hmm. as the women in the city, but I can't drive an hour and a half with kids at home. And, yeah. um, so that's where it started, and we knew we were going to need to raise capital, so we actually after developing our business plan, started going to pitch competitions and then also started an iFund um, uh, iFund Women campaign for mm -hmm. crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. uh, and we actually pre-sold memberships. And so people who believed in our idea after listening to our story and our pitch uh, pre-invested in us That's awesome. um, to help mm -hmm. open up. Yeah, so we've really been working on this idea for more than two years. Even though we officially opened in January, we spent about a year building a community mm -hmm. without having a specific place to be. So we, Amy hosted cheers and chats at her house and we used Facebook to yeah. invite women who we didn't even know into her home and we wanted to understand what people wanted and what they mm -hmm. needed. Mm -hmm. Because originally we thought we'd be more that traditional space that's focused on offices, but we learned actually women really just wanted a way to get out of their home office and instead of going to a coffee shop, they wanted a place to land where they could hold meetings, mm -hmm. um, have you know a private conference room here and there, but really be around other people in the same boat. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of market research and, and we got a lot of great guidance. So even though we did our business plan, we did that with the guidance of a lot of Fairfax County resources as well. Mm -hmm. So we used the SCORE uh, team, we used the- Small Business Development Center. And yeah. So that helped guide And then it. local businesses allowed us to do pop-up events yep. at their location, like Lake Ann Brew House and okay. Art Space Arts in Herndon. Um, so that is what allowed us to pre-build our community. That's great. And Melissa, I'm sure, oh, was yeah. like an evangelist oh, out there, she's right? She's yeah. awesome, yeah. right? <laughs> That's very cool, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a fun question. I want to know when is your birthday? Because I want to know what your sign is, mm -hmm. right? So it's April 9th. April 9th. So we're Aries. Aries. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
but the the name of Rowan Tree actually stemmed from the birthday because mm. um, we knew we wanted to name the business something around the birthday but April 9th might not be the best business name um, so in our research we found just like gemstones for birthdays there are trees associated with birthdays okay and the Rowan Tree is the tree of April 9th um, but the tree itself means vision and power and transformation and connection and balance like everything we had written down that we wanted in this space um, and it's also a family name of oh I got a little I got goosebumps yeah. oh I, I, cool. get, I still get goosebumps to this day every yeah. time we talk about yeah it. and as Kate said it, it grows in some of the toughest locations and really seeks the highest of altitudes mm -hmm. so we thought it was it was a really good uh, it's appropriate absolutely yeah. Yeah. right mm -hmm. so what's the vision what, what do you what do you when you close your eyes and you think about what this is and what it could be like what, what's your vision and that's a lofty question no, I know it's not. it actually we're we're achieving our vision mm -hmm. our vision was a place that women and all of Rockham but mm -hmm. women focused could come and find a tribe mm -hmm. find a community get work done but also feel happier and mm -hmm. more productive and what we found is we've been building this community and now they're bringing in people mm -hmm. so we now have this place that it's a physical location but it's also a feeling and a buzz that you walk in where yes you come in and you get work done and yes you are our members are referring each other and their businesses are strengthening but they're also feeling more fulfilled mm -hmm. and, and happier and more involved in their community i think we wanted to make it easier for people to feel connected to each other mm -hmm. um, because nowadays because people work at home a lot we don't tend to always see each other. And at work, you know, one of the best things about working is you make a community by mm -hmm. the water cooler. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that doesn't happen as much anymore. So we're seeing our vision truly come to life. I mean, it's a beautiful space, but the people are all so different and each bring different perspectives and experiences and humor. So we're getting to make business connections, but also friends. Tell me about that. Who seems to be uh, what type of businesses, right? Do you have types of businesses or is it just all over the board? Well, certainly there are a lot of women here. Mm -hmm. We do have a couple of really awesome male members, mm -hmm. um, but it's about 95% women entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And um, about 35 to 55 years in age, but we have some, mm -hmm. some younger, some older. Mm -hmm. um, and most people are, are relatively newer in their business that they are starting. Mm -hmm. um, and so less than five years in business. Okay. But in terms of industry, it truly is across the board. I mm -hmm. mean, we have everything from massage therapists and yoga instructors and photographers to government consultants and instructional designers mm -hmm. and just, marketing experts yeah everything in between yeah. so. the, the thing that we keep finding though that there's a common thread among most of our members is that they're all exploring something in their career mm -hmm. a lot of them have been around they're seasoned mm -hmm. and they want to turn their experiences into something that they own and they direct mm -hmm. and we find that those are the types of people who keep coming do you offer any kind of business coaching to these women, right, these business yeah. owners? So we actually, part of our, from the get-go, what we wanted this to be was a learning hub. Mm -hmm. And so yes, you're getting work done, yes, you're connecting, but you're also learning and growing, mm -hmm. whether it's personally or for your business. And mm -hmm. so our, our motto is work, connect, be well, and create. So we're mm -hmm. continually creating, almost on a weekly basis, we have professional development and personal development workshops, mm -hmm. but we also have creative classes and we also have wellness classes, all tied into the membership because we felt it was important, as busy working moms ourselves, we're running around doing all of these things and trying to bring it into one place to make it easier to get all of that done and learn and grow. What an awesome mastermind. Mm -hmm. You know, I've just, um, I, I reflect on my sister, who's four years younger, two little kids, um, struggling, ardent, like she, you know, she's in that season of her life where she's raising kids and, mm -hmm. and she's got this creative hunger inside of her and she just, she wants to get it out, but there's nobody that she can kind of like network with. Something like this does not exist for her mm -hmm. where she is, um, uh, or maybe she hasn't tapped into it or found it, right? Um, but I just think about what an amazing mastermind because a lot of it's just being able to bounce ideas oh, yeah. right, mm -hmm. off other entrepreneurs yeah. and, and say, what do you think about this, right? And getting all the different perspectives. Yeah, um, absolutely. That's powerful. And I see you hold yoga classes in here too. Yeah. So t tell me a little bit about that. 
So every Monday morning, oh, mm -hmm. oh, every Monday at noon, we have okay. yoga with uh, Gretchen Schutte. And then every other Wednesday, we have another yoga class at, at in the morning with Marnie Skalroff. And they're both totally different types of yoga instructors. It's very accessible to anybody. And our thought there again was, making it easier for people to get things in that they tend to put on the back burner. Yeah. You know, right now I probably wouldn't join a yoga studio, but the fact that it is right here is convenient and convenience is key to getting yeah. all this done. Yep. Um, we are trying to make it easy for, for our members to mm -hmm. grow. And that's actually another element of all this is it's all in one place. Mm -hmm. So all the workshops take place during the daytime. I mean, there are some evening things, but we try to work it into the day based on our members' needs. Okay. So again, it's convenient because before, if you think about it, if you're running your own business or, or you have or your remote worker, if you have to go to all different places for different workshops, different experiences, it takes up a lot of time and a lot yeah. of money. Yeah, yeah. So this is all included in membership. Mm -hmm. I mean, so again, we're trying to be accessible to people. How does the membership work? So we have a couple different kinds because we wanted to be flexible and offer different options. And so there is a full-time membership mm -hmm. and that's actually 24 seven access. You get a key fob, um, you can come use the space, access to all of our programming. You also get credits to use the conference room. Um, so that's the most robust. But then there's also uh, like a part-time community membership okay. for those who may have a workspace already that they enjoy, but they still want to come in every once in a while. They still want to be involved in the community and the mm -hmm. events. Uh, and then we also have a flex pass, uh, which is just five days over three months. And that's for people to just try it out or mm -hmm. if they live far away and they just want to come every once in a while. That's kind of a nice middle ground for people. Okay. So let me learn a little bit about you guys, right? So tell me a little bit about your background. I know you have a graphic design background, right? And you have a project management background. Mm -hmm. So that seems like an interesting combination, right? Mm -hmm. there. So um, tell me a little bit about your background first. Yeah, so I've um, always been in the graphic design world and um, worked at a lot of different places over the years, a print shop and then a design studio and then Booz Allen did, did some time in the corporate world and okay. um, most recently was with a company that focused on employee and customer engagement um, and they've all been great hubs and learning experiences and I've been able to kind of translate all of those different things here into Rowan Tree mm -hmm. um, and it's come in really handy that I do the majority of our graphics work. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, best practice, have a designer. That's right. A, so important. As a leader. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It helps build vision too. Oh yeah. Right? People thought that we were open like eight months before we even had a space because all of our products looked so together, our mm. website looked beautiful. We'd help with that too, but having... Amy's beautiful design skills. I mean, everything was coordinated and branded, so it gave us a sense of credibility before we even opened that really did give us a leg up. Totally matters. Yeah, really does. So what about you? So I actually have a communications and project management background. And before I start, so I've done government consulting for about 15 years now, mm -hmm. but before that I actually started out at the Hospice Foundation, so in the mm -hmm. nonprofit world geared towards caregiving. So I've done a lot of project management, um, program management, a lot of facilitation, member engagement, stakeholder engagement. Mm -hmm. So it really lends itself well here too because between that change communications, engagement, writing, combined with Amy's communication skills and her writing and then our joint project management, it's kind of, it's, I don't know if we could have a better combination of experience. And it's funny, you wouldn't think when you're doing all that, you, we had no clue where it would lead, but it really helps. That is the beauty mm -hmm. of just, you know, experience, yeah. right? And oh. you just, just don't know where learning takes you, experience mm -hmm. takes you, it just opens up so many future doors. Yeah. So are you finding that this has become a support network for entrepreneurs? Right? We love it because we, we were doing member interviews and I would say like half of them said that they have cheerleaders. They mm -hmm. literally will walk in to share their good news because they know when they come here, everybody's going to get it. Mm -hmm. So we've had at least five members walk in with awesome news, and it can be business related or personal, and and they will get cheers. Like, yeah, yeah. But I was going to say the reverse too. And I, yeah. I actually said to somebody the other day, I love when I say, "Hey, how you doing today?" And if the person says, "Well, I'm not doing all right," like mm -hmm. here's what's going on, and people feel comfortable and safe sharing here, and know that someone's going to listen and support them. And so to me, have both sides of yeah. that. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need that. Yeah. You need that. People yeah. need that. Well, what would you want the rest in Herndon community to know about you guys? We've covered a, a bunch of stuff, but I want to make sure that that I, you know, put the cherry on top. Is there anything specific that I haven't asked you that you would want 
the community to know about you? Well, I just, I, I think what we're finding is, yes, we're this beautiful, warm, inviting workspace that has business amenities, but it's also really turning into a community hub. Mm -hmm. um, and just so many different styles of events are happening here. Things we're not even hosting. People have come in. We had a community um, Jewish Seder dinner and mm -hmm. a community Iftar dinner um, after Ramadan. And just some really, we've had some wonderful vendor events featuring only local uh, female women entrepreneurs. We didn't put it on. One of our members put it on. That's and awesome. So, when it starts growing on its yeah. own. Yeah, right. I think so. I think it's important to know that when we want more members yeah. because we want good people here and we want to help facilitate your business growth, your professional growth. But we also want this to be a place where it's a sense there's a sense of community. And so, you know, if you're someone who works at home or you're trying to start something, and you don't know what that something is, come on by. I mean, come on by, check us out. We do free trial days. We have open co-working days and see if it's for you because we want more wonderful people like that here because the more we have, the stronger we'll be and then the stronger our community will be. Yeah, we find, because we're big, big in the building community, we find that the larger the network in the community, the more opportunity there is for everybody. Yeah. Right? Our members refer each other. Um, they're sharing business and collaborating. So we're seeing that we're strengthening each other's business and then the local economy as well, just by being a member. The, the other thing we talked about, which is a really oh. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. How would the community find it? Are you guys online? Website? What's your website? Give me all the other so details. You can find us at workrowing.com. Okay. And that's also our social media handle. Um, and on there, there's pictures of the space. There's more about who we are and what we're doing. And there's also an event calendar. So there's constantly different events. Um, whether it be professional related to growing a business or it could be a fun mosaic making event. So there's lots of different things to, to try and check out. Well guys, thanks so much for joining us. Come check out Rowan Tree here in Herndon. What's the name of the plaza here? It's Sunset Business Park. Awesome. Well, come check it out. Thanks so much for stopping in. Take care.